Adam Ferguson S. An Essay on the History of Civil Society is a foundational text in the history of sociology and political philosophy. Written during the Scottish Enlightenment, it offers a detailed reflection on the development of societies, the nature of human progress, and the interplay between individual freedom and social institutions. Fersenes' ideas are deeply rooted in a historical perspective that emphasizes the dynamic and often contradictory forces that shape civil society. His work addresses themes such as the tension between civilization and corruption, the role of conflict in social development, and the fragility of liberty within advanced societies. Ferguson's concern with understanding the trajectory of societies, from their rudimentary beginnings, to the complex forms of modern states, as well as the ethical and political challenges associated with these developments. Ferguson begins with the idea that human beings are inherently social creatures, whose nature unfolds only within society. For him, society is not an artificial creation, imposed by rulers or laws, but a natural outcome of human interaction and cooperation. He emphasizes that individuals are shaped by their relations with others, and these relationships evolve into institutions that, over time, become traditions, customs, and laws. Ferguson's approach to civil society is rooted in the belief that societies grow organically through spontaneous human actions rather than deliberate planning. His view counters the idea that social contracts, as proposed by thinkers like Hobbes or Locke, are the primary foundations of political society. Instead, Ferguson believes that human sociability, along with shared experiences of struggle and cooperation, fosters the gradual formation of communities and political systems. A major theme is Ferguson's exploration of the relationship between progress and moral decline. He argues that as societies progress from simpler to more complex forms, they often lose sight of the virtues that characterize their earlier stages. For Ferguson, early societies are marked by a certain roughness and simplicity, but they also foster a sense of solidarity and personal courage. In contrast, more advanced societies, though richer and more sophisticated, tend to suffer from corruption, complacency, and a loss of communal spirit. Ferguson is skeptical of the uncritical embrace of progress, warning that the pursuit of wealth and luxury in modern societies can undermine the civic virtues necessary for maintaining freedom and justice. This perspective aligns Ferguson with the broader tradition of civic republicanism which values active participation in public life and views liberty as inseparable from civic responsibility. Ferguson also introduces the idea that conflict and competition are essential to the development of civil society. He argues that societies progress not through harmonious cooperation alone, but also through rivalry and struggle. For Ferguson, conflict is not merely destructive. It can also be productive, fostering innovation, strengthening social bonds, and promoting the development of institutions. This dynamic view of history contrasts with the more static and harmonious conceptions of society that were prevalent in some Enlightenment thought. Ferguson sees the tensions and contradictions inherent in social life as driving forces for change and development. His analysis of social conflict resonates with later sociological theories, 
such as those of Marx and Weber, which similarly emphasize the role of conflict in shaping social structures. Ferguson is concerned with the fragility of liberty in advanced societies. He argues that the complexity of modern societies can lead to the erosion of personal freedom as individuals become increasingly dependent on institutions and lose their sense of agency. Ferguson warns that the division of labor, though essential for economic development, can have unintended social consequences. As individuals specialize in narrow fields of work, they may become disconnected from the broader community and lose the ability to participate meaningfully in public affairs. This alienation, Ferguson suggests, weakens the foundations of civil society by reducing the sense of mutual responsibility and common purpose. His analysis anticipates later critiques of modernity and industrialization, including those of Karl Marx, who similarly explored the alienating effects of specialized labor. Ferguson's work is also notable for its focus on historical processes. He rejects the notion that societies develop according to a predetermined blueprint or follow a linear path of progress. Instead, he emphasizes the contingent and unpredictable nature of historical change. Ferguson's historical method is based on the idea that each society develops according to its particular circumstances, shaped by geography, climate, and historical events. His analysis of societal development highlights the importance of understanding the interplay between structure and agency as individuals and groups respond creatively to the challenges they face. Ferguson's attention to the complexities of historical development reflects a nuanced understanding of the ways in which societies evolve over time. Ferguson offers a critique of both authoritarianism and excessive individualism. Ferguson warns that societies can fall into despotism if individuals prioritize personal interests over the common good. At the same time, he cautions against the dangers of extreme individualism, which can erode social cohesion and undermine the foundations of civil society. For Ferguson, the health of civil society depends on finding a balance between individual freedom and collective responsibility. His vision of civil society is one in which individuals are actively engaged in public life and committed to the well-being of the community. Ferguson's emphasis on civic engagement reflects his belief that liberty is not merely the absence of interference, but requires active participation in shaping the political and social order. Ferguson's text is deeply rooted in the intellectual currents of the Scottish Enlightenment, particularly the emphasis on empiricism, historical inquiry, and moral philosophy. Like other thinkers of his time, Ferguson sought to understand the moral and political implications of social change. His work reflects a commitment to studying society in its historical context, recognizing that ideas and institutions are shaped by particular historical circumstances. Ferguson's approach to the study of society combines empirical observation with normative reflection, offering both a descriptive account of social development and a critique of contemporary trends.